Hello, Chronicle here, and welcome back to Super Hostile Online, Season 2. Uh, now on Episode 9, and this episode we are going to head to the shrine that gives you resistance for a long period of time. So, I just finished waiting out the, uh, uh, the 20 minute hunger that you get after getting the strength from the Shrine of Agapantha. So, we're going to head to uh, the lake bed, and we're going to want to run across that. Uh, pretty much kind of the same way you would go to if, uh, for the first few dungeon levels. Uh, except we're going to be taking a different direction. Uh, a ways into it, though. Okay. So I would just drop down there, but I'd rather just be a bit on the cautious side here. So we'll head down here. And then drop down this way. Okay, slime down there are, are pretty good for uh, both XP <laughs> and uh, and gold, of course. Whoa! Yeah, it is a kind of a bad time to go, but you know what? Well, we're just gonna tough it out here. We can afford to. I'm just gonna run like heck. Okay, that wow. I'm hurting. Hurting pretty bad. Okay, there we go. Alright. Gonna eat up some steak here in just a minute. In case you're wondering what the whole rising sun thing is, uh, that basically is, it's a random thing where, depends on who it is, uh, well, yeah, it's a random thing. <laughs> so, it doesn't depend on anyone, it's, it's, it's totally, completely random. And basically what it does is it gives you regeneration for 15 minutes. So you'll have it for the entire day. So actually, no, we don't want to go that way. That's the way towards uh, uh, Dragon Bone. So continue, continue on this way. Whoa. All right, this is actually kind of perfect timing here. Because it'll be nice to have sunlight getting over there. However, I'm hoping that there are, there are enough mobs that will have spawned during the night time that the tunnels that we have to go through here won't be too, uh, too bad. Okay, so not too many things. Ouch. I think that guy had a punch bow. Not too sure. Whoa! Okay. Okay. That was very bad. Alright. <laughs> Let's do that. Whew. Wow. That was scary. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's heal all the way up here for a bit. Uh, okay, let's let this guy just come out. And let's try that again. Oh, 
Okay. Let's just keep on running here. Seems to get better the farther we go in. Whoa, okay. Keep on going further this way. As long as we're going up, we're doing well. I want to get through this part fairly quickly because obviously it can be a little bit of a mess. Okay. Doing all right here. Whoa. All right. Okay, let me just have that bread on my bar here. Pick up that XP. Usually I want to bring my shield along with me on stuff like this, but uh, because the cost of them has been cut in half, uh, I feel a little bit more, I don't know if there's a greater sense of security now with being able to afford one. I guess that's it. So anyways, rather than take a right and go that way, I want to take a left. And onto this, uh, kind of this path of, uh, with all this hardened clay. And eventually we're going to come up to a forest here. And not too far in. is the shrine. Now it's definitely not anywhere near as noticeable uh, as the uh, the shrine f the shrine for strength. Or as I should just say the shrine to Agapantha. But uh, yeah, there it is right there. It was just kind of in the middle of this forest here. That's a quite a collection of mobs there. <laughs> okay, so get over here and the lonely shrine. Yeah, lonely it is. That that it is. Okay, so we got hunger for a bit here. I did not notice that last time, probably because I was still still had hunger <laughs> from the uh, strength uh, from the first shrine. Okay, so. Just going to head back here, and uh, next, we will head to the Cave of Bones. Okay, so here we are at the Cave of Bones. Now, it's been about a week since I last recorded. I actually had a bunch of uh, footage of me going through here, as well as into the, the dungeon that, that rests in here, called Paralog 1, uh, but Gravebound. But uh, later that same day, there was a big adjustment, a big addition made uh, to that very same dungeon uh, by Vex uh, at night, uh, which was the addition of these very nasty wither skeletons uh, called Bone Guards. So I went to both uh, the Resistance Shrine again, as well as to the Shrine of Agapantha, the Shrine to Agapantha, sorry, uh, to get strength. So, also brought some gear with me to put on once we get in there, uh, some tough gear, as well as this uh, this iron sword I got from one uh, dungeon coin. So fortunately it is daytime right now. So getting in here safely is going to be one 
bit tricky here. Go here we go. Cave of bones, rest area up here. Okay, wow. Alright, let me have this ready. Uh, as you might have just spotted there, I have a a blue glass block on my head right now. That's because I managed to get enough levels to uh, unlock one of the three main kits. Uh, one being Fighter, the other being Scout, and the one being the one I'm using, Defender. So basically what you get is you get two extra hearts uh, on top of the 20 that you already have. And on, of course, as you can see here, you get Protection 1 and Thorns 4. Uh, the Thorns actually helps quite a bit, as well as the extra health that you get. Even though it is two extra hearts, but uh, it's still still helpful. Uh, I actually have almost enough to get to the third level, except you need, I'm pretty sure you need to get to floor, you need the tag for floor 16, uh, which is not out yet. Uh, in fact, we have still, we're still waiting on floor 13. And 12 and 11, uh, which hopefully will be out soon. Uh, so, okay. Now, I'm definitely going to use my shield when we get in there. I might as well make use of my bow while we're here. Uh, not going to use any, not going to use my bow while when we're in there. Uh, because, apparently, they have very good projectile protection. So as for the other two kits, I might as well tell you what those uh, include. Uh, fighter gives you one extra heart. So 21 total. And... As well as uh, extra attack damage. Where is that extra... Other, other... Maybe zombie. There it is. Uh, and what else? Uh, I guess it's Scout. Uh, increases both your speed and your attack speed. Uh, the speed is not very noticeable on the first level, so you might want to wait until the the next levels to really uh, to really see a difference. But, uh, okay, so we need to make our way pretty sure through here. Yeah, here we go. So things get a little bit. Tighten here. So we need to watch out for, for stuff in here. So if if I remember this correctly, I think uh, having thorns will deal. Could deal. Uh, I think from half a heart to to two hearts of damage. All right, that or it's it's actually two health points. So either a quarter of a heart, or one heart. Okay, so continue up here. Okay. Not even there yet, and already struggling. Right. Okay, good thing I didn't put on any of my armor. Right, there we go, Thorns killed him. That's great. I've had that happen a few times. There are quite a few skeletons in this cave today. Okay, that creeper came out of nowhere. Okay, time to make use of this iron sword. Since there's plenty of durability on it. Okay, there it is. Good, good, good. Alright. So, let's get ready here. 
E I am nervous. I am nervous. <laughs> Got a first bow out of that. Cool. Uh, Alright, so... Getting point stuff here. I actually used some of my gold, as you could see. <laughs> for... Uh, to make some golden carrots, since they provide a lot of natural... Uh, lots of regeneration. Or saturation, I should say. Uh, ouch. <laughs> okay, so just make sure I'm recording. Good, I am. That would be uh, a bit embarrassing if I wasn't after all this. Okay, so 